Archbishop Stephen has spoken in response to the awful news of the murder of MP Sir David Amos, whom he knew, of course, from his time as Bishop of Chelmsford when he was down there. Um, the Archbishop has spoken of uh, David Amos's work uh, across all faiths and across party divides, about how his values and his work were very much shaped by his profound Christian faith. He was a practicing Roman Catholic and a man of faith. We can, I think, think of MPs as distant figures sometimes, and I think that's because we see Westminster and the media circus on telly, on radio and in the papers, and we see this heightened uh, performance, if you like, of um, extreme disagreement often and vilification. And our politicians can therefore just be put in a box of, well, distant argumentative people whom it is fine to be angry about at a personal level. But the reality of how things work in this country is that our leaders are rooted in constituency communities where, of course, this murder took place. Uh, our nation, indeed, is a community of communities in the way it's organised in that way in Parliament, as Archbishop Stephen himself has said. And so here in the Bramham Benefice, in our group of villagers, we continue to pray for Alex Shelbrook, our own local MP, who indeed is a parishioner here in our parish. And remember that in our politics, we're called to disagree well when we disagree, and to work together for the common good, to look for people of common purpose and goodwill. And I think we do need to work towards a better form of public discourse, so that news is less of an entertainment, of a bear pit, that our politics is also not characterised that way. So that our politics is rooted in truth, yes, honest disagreement. We don't have to agree about every, everything by any means. But also mutual respect. And also all the way we talk about people, groups of people, and situations around the world. To be rooted in valuing one another. And in fact, valuing each and every person on the planet as a precious child of God. I know that might sound like it's trying to push my luck in terms of making our politics theological, and it is. You can't divorce theology from real life. Our faith is rooted in real life and has to inform how we live personally, as a community and as a nation and as an international global community. We've got COP26 coming up. How can we not be theological about the climate challenge? The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. It is precious. And the people on our planet are precious in God's sight. We're made in God's image. And all of creation is an expression of the glory of God. How can we despoil it? And seeing human life as precious, whether it's an MP or any single person on the planet, a migrant in the channel, not someone to be vilified, not someone whose life is not of value. Truth, compassion, justice, humanity have to be in the mix because that expresses the character of God. It's our calling as human beings, not just as Christians. And as Christians, we have to stand up and say, this is how it needs to be. This is how we have to do our politics. This is how we have to disagree so that things don't escalate, so there isn't a toxic, horrific environment in which killing a member of parliament becomes a possibility, an option. We saw it with Joe Cox five years ago and we've not moved on. We have to do better, we have to work together 
to make a loving environment for our discourse and our disagreements. May it be so. Amen.